Here's the problem I left you with at the end of the last video. If you worked it out and you got 12 thirteenths, probably you did it right. So if you want to move on to the next video, that's totally fine. If you want to sit in here and work through this together, that's totally fine too. Okay. If you didn't get that or if you're feeling shaky on your hyperbolic trig, feel free to stick around. All right. Antiderivative of sec squared is going to be tanh of x. And we'll be evaluating that between the natural log of 5 and 0. Okay. So for tanh of x, I'm going to want to write that in terms of the exponential. Now, I don't have that formula memorized because I know that tanh is sinh over cosh. I know these formulas, and they give me the other ones if I need them. So sinh was e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2, and cosh was e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. And when I divide fractions, I flip and multiply. So this is e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2 times 2 over e to the x plus e to the negative x. Those twos will cancel. Nothing else does. Because these pieces are connected by subtraction, these are connected by addition. I cannot cancel across addition and subtraction. So I'm getting e to the x minus e to the negative x over e to the x plus e to the negative x. Okay. So when I get tanh of the natural log of 5 minus tanh of 0, I know that tanh now of the natural log of 5 is e to the ln 5 minus e to the negative natural log of 5 over e to the natural log of 5 plus e to the negative natural log of 5. Minus. Now, I might remember that tanh of 0 is 0. I might remember that sinh of 0 is 0, which is going to make tanh 0, because it's going to be 0 over cosh 0, which is just 1. Okay. If I didn't remember that, I can still just plug in. I'm going to get e to the 0 minus e to the negative 0 is just 0 over e to the 0 plus, again, e to the negative 0 is just 0. Okay. So you'll notice this one simplifies to 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 1, which is just 0. <laughs> so this is what's going to contribute to my answer. So that's 5 minus a fifth over 5 plus a fifth. That would be 25 fifths minus 1 fifth is 24 fifths over 25 fifths plus 1 fifth would be 26 fifths. That's going to be 24 fifths times 5 26 Those fives cancel and then I can cancel a factor of 2 and I will just get 12 over 13. <laughs> 